Monfu Prophet, off top, man. Crook's Corner, bro. Eminem interview just dropped. We on it, man. Now, this is a clip. This is a clip. This is kind of the clip before we even get into it. This is this is um, Eminem talking about the situation. I was watching the interview. I stopped it because I heard the question that was asked. Is Crook asking M how he feels about white rappers being considered a guest in hip-hop? So we about to, you know what I mean, break down M's response to that. You know, every delivery right, you know. So it's one of the things I'm just always trying to improve. Are you your toughest critic? Absolutely. I mean, you're probably yours, right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, cause, because you know that you can't sit down with the pen and just rhyme the last word of every line. That's a fact. I mean, most most artists are probably in this position. You know what I mean? Most artists probably feel this way about that. It's like, all right, well, cool. You know what I yeah. mean? You know what I mean? And, and your love for hip hop is just evident. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the t shirts you choose to wear sometimes. I sit back and I see a picture of you. Is that my stand. shirt? You feel me? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you. I think you have like Lock Him Shabazz on one of your t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, and a lot of Lord. people don't even know, you know, who that call themselves hip hop heads might not even know who that is on your shirt. That's a fact. On purpose. I mean, it is something I do on well, A because I love it. Because uh -huh. it's fun for me. Like it makes me feel like a kid again. It's like, oh shit, I got you know, I got this album yeah. cover. Like like think about when I think of like iconic album covers, NWA's first album cover, Audio 2's first album cover, uh -huh. like it's iconic shit. Of that. Yeah. Like yeah. how they was wearing the airbrush shirts and right, shit. Right, right, like, right. Like having that on a shirt is, A, it's dope to me, but it's also like maybe if I'm doing a show and some of the younger fans don't know who this is, they'll go back and, you know. Check them out. Look at. Go back and say, Man, who is that? On word, this? word. And go back and, and, and be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Because Lockham Shabazz was fucking nice. I'm raw and rare. I walk in the square of pure right. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Word. Being that much of a, you know, a part of the culture, <clears throat> history books are going to definitely put you as one of the greatest of all time. How do you feel about the concept of white rappers being a guest in the house of hip-hop? There it goes. See, this is the point I watched up to and because I heard the question, so I had to, you know what I mean, screen record it, but... Man, I'm interested to know. I'm interested to know. Well, I mean, that's the funny thing. I I don't know if I've got a chance to say this yet, but um, the funny the funny shit is like I I with with the whole beef of a certain person, right. Jamar, Lord Jamar. I never said I wasn't a guest, right? Like I'm. I, mm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it a a, a thou out, right? So I've felt this way. I felt as if you know what I mean. Me, I mean, if y'all watch the Monfu podcast with Screw, listen. This is kind of our stance. We felt like you know M is a rational person. You know what I mean? Like, M is a person that really tells kind of his truth. And so, to think that he wouldn't kind of say that he is a guest in hip-hop with so many people that came, you know, after, I mean, before him, paved the way for, you know, a culture that he clearly, you know, supports and respects. Um, you know, this is kind of where I figured he would lie. Now, a lot of people was on my bumper, and screws bumper like you can pull up the files go look on social media go look at our comments our videos when we said this you know what i mean people was definitely on our bumper about that you feel me but i mean that's a smart response because all in all he's really bodying lord jamar's entire point because in lord jamar's whole thing his whole get up was he's a guest in hip-hop and blah da da and it's like okay cool fine fine right but if eminem says yes i'm a guest in hip-hop then what body back absolutely a guest like i, I never said i wasn't right word and 
I never said I was king of anything. That's a fact. Right? right? Like, right. I had a song called Kings Never Die, but it wasn't me saying... That was one of the beats that Khalil sent me with the hook on it. That was the right. concept of the song. And I'm like, I can't say I'm the king of hip-hop. Right, right. That's, That's fair. Saying, That's fair. Run DMC in there, Jam Master J. You know what I'm saying? Right. It like, was trying to like... These are these are people that originated the culture. These are the people that originated the culture. What he's doing is, is crediting them. Because I never want to be... Like, I don't want to be the king of hip-hop. Who the fuck is the king of hip-hop? Yeah. Like, is there a Word. king of hip-hop? Like, I don't... Yeah. Probably rock him if anybody. I feel you on that. People would say, people would say, just because you sell the most records doesn't mean you're the best. Just right. because you can rap forty million syllables doesn't mean you're the best. It's valid. Right. I care more about rhyming the syllables. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I care more about the craft than any of the other. And that, and that shows. That's a fact. Yeah. And 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 like like Crook said, that does show. That one hundred percent shows because M takes criticism to the heart because you can tell he cares about this. Like he, it, it's of course it's gonna hurt him to hear somebody say you know something negative about any art form. But like a rational person would say, and M's response I think is very particularly smart and well angled and well spoken because now he's breaking down exactly why this is he's saying listen i don't call myself the king of things i'm here for the technical side of things this is what i like to do i put words together very well i make them sound good i'll deliver you guys songs with lyrics and, and content and you know with that being said people have different you know qualifications for what's best and what's not and his response, I think, is very well spoken. Yeah, like, Articulate. Back to those who know. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. And um, I just don't. I don't get it sometimes. You know what I mean? I, I, I watch these rap media, so-called critics, and some music journalists. And, <laughs> how many of yeah. bars and your messages goes over their head? That's a fact. Like, even with the content conversation. That's like, a fact. The content since day one. You got songs to prove it. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm sorry to keep pausing, bro. But listen, uh, he's kicking facts because what he's saying is basically these people's entire response is about this dude not having content. And we're talking about a dude that had so much content that people wanted to ban his 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 words. They wanted to ban him, man. Come on, bro. What are we doing? I'm like, what the? What is content? What are you talking about? What do you want me to talk about? (laughs) Think about the first time. You heard Rock Him. What I say. Right? So when people make these lists, and he's always on the list, mm-hmm. but never the he's also as high as he should on my be. List because yeah. to me, greatness is not only how well you do something, but if you were the first to do it, Rock Him was the first person that I heard that started taking using like inside rhyme schemes. Right. And coming back, he made modern day rap like how it is today. That's a fact. He did something that hadn't even been thought of yet. Right. Yeah. It was like, and he single handedly pushed the genre forward to be more complex lyrically. Right. Which made. Birth fucking Kane. Right. 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 Okay. See, that's. That's. I don't always get. Okay. So. That's where the screen recording ends. Now, um, I just did a five-minute clip because I didn't know exactly how long that response is. That's why I kind of had the random stuff at the end. I didn't even listen to That's literally the first time I listened to it. But um, I figured this would be M's response. I'm going to be 100% honest because, like I said, M is a very rational person. Like, he, he speaks very articulate, and he also doesn't do a lot of interviews. So, like, you have to think, like, the... I'm sure he goes over in his head his responses a million times before he even sits down. He knows what he's going to say. It's like, come on, man. That's a clear body. He, I'm glad he didn't give Lord Jamar more attention than he did now because that response was everything that was needed, 100%. He said, listen, I'm a guest on hip-hop, which made Lord Jamar wrong, and now we can just, you know, that's that. That's that. It's just simple as that. Like, when you, you know, live your truth, he, that's what he's doing. He's saying, listen, 
I wasn't the originator. You know, this isn't where I come from, but I came here and he said people like Rakim are people that paved, you know, ways that for me to develop a different lane in music, the multi-syllable, there's literally an Eminem style of rap, which is dope. And that's the kind of people, and he's acknowledging that. And by him acknowledging that makes everything that Lord Jamar just out the window. Listen, Mumful Prophet, tune in, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Grr, bah!